guys, Brandy here. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the importance of GitHub, why we use it, and why employers are looking at it, and then exactly how to structure your projects on there so when future employers do go there, they know exactly what it is that they're looking at. All right, you guys, so this is GitHub, and it probably looks pretty familiar to you. These are all the different repositories that you're a part of and people that you follow. And so what you want to do, or what employers do, is they go over to your profile and they can take a look at your different repositories that you have. And then one of their major things that they look at is your contributions for the year because what this tells them is exactly how active you are on GitHub. Why this is so important is Companies are looking for people that are contributing to open source projects as well as growing their knowledge on their own. So whether that's doing tutorials or building your own projects from scratch. So regardless of what it is that you're doing, whether it's a tutorial or your own project or open source or whatever, make sure that you're still committing everything to GitHub and then organize it accordingly, which is what we're going to jump into next. All right, so we're on GitHub. Let's take a look at the different things in this particular repository that you need to make sure that you have on the projects that you have on your portfolio or the ones that you are showing a prospective employer. So you can see at the top that this was a code test that I did for IBM back in 2006. So these are all the things that I would highly suggest that you have on your GitHub repository. So when a prospective employer comes to look at the different projects on your portfolio, they know exactly what it is that they are looking at. So the first thing is the README. You want to make sure that you have a title or the name of the project that you built. Second, you want to have a link to the live project. You can host wherever, depending on what type of project it is or what type of job that you are trying to apply, you may want to do some research on where you should be hosting. The next part is you want a headline of what the app is. Like this one is a photo viewing app for the space enthusiasts. And yes, when I'm done with this, I will show you the app that I built. And this was just a task that they asked me to do. They said I could build it um, with any sort of technologies, but I did need to use the Flickr API. So here was the task. Build a Flickr web app that fetches images from NASA's account via the Flickr API. You're welcome to use any technology to build and design the layout in any way that you see fit. So what I would put here is why you're building what you are building. Maybe there's a reason behind your application or there's a need that you are meeting or a problem that you're solving. That's what I would specify. So the criteria for this particular one was actually the criteria for this particular task that they gave me. So you may not actually have this on yours, but it's not a bad idea if you are using a tutorial or if you are doing a code challenge for an employer. So here is a summary of this stack. You can list this out or you can write it the way I wrote it in paragraph form. It's really up to you and what type of message you're trying to get across. And so for me, since this was a code challenge for a company, I wanted to make sure that they, under, that they knew that I understood why I was using the things I was using. The next thing you want to have is functionality. What does your app do? When I, when I go to it, what should I expect from it? And also the design. I know we're developers, but we should still have an idea of design. Like my last video that I showed you guys of how to get a job in tech, you need to be familiar with everything that goes into the process of building an app, and that includes design and design principles. The next thing that you have is how to run the project locally. So what this means, if you're not familiar, is say you send this to somebody and they want to run it and play around and kind of dive into the project itself. Well, you want to make sure that you can give them the proper steps in order for them to do this. So this is pretty simple. They would just clone down my repository, um, install all my libraries, and then run. 
The next part is, is I actually list out all the different technologies that I used from the above paragraph where I state why I use them. So both of these are great because it really showcases that you have a very well understanding of what it is that you used and why it is that you used it. All right, so I will show you guys this application. So here is Spacegram, you guys. You can probably tell I got some inf inspiration from, in from Instagram, and it looks like my little hearts are messed up. Haven't looked at this in a while. But you can see that I'm pulling in images and I'm pulling in the title from their API. I can type in Mars and I'm getting a photo. Looks like I could just type in M. This is just gonna search through the titles. So that is Spacegram. Uh, once again, this was actually a code challenge that I did for IBM. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video on the importance of GitHub and how exactly to structure your projects. I hope you guys like that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day.